Hey guys, I'm Arithia and we're here. The game has fully released. I took some time during beta to make a few very basic tutorials about the controls for this game. I might do some more advanced stuff in the future on layout and building designs, but I just really want to start my new series now because I have a lot of ideas. As you can maybe tell, I already did a few things here. I just wanted to make this less square, uh, round it off a bit. So we're not working in this tight little corner. Alright, let's go into speed build and I will tell you a bit more about what we're doing for this first episode and what the plans are for this series. Today I'm working on this custom entrance building and the style I'm going for for the first time is somewhat more realistic. As always, if I have fantasy elements that I really want to add, I still will, but I kind of want to make a nice, normal, not so heavily themed area, more of a real theme park feel to the entrance and I will start building a main street from the next episode on so we'll see how the style will develop. Also for this building it will have some towers so it will have a little bit of a fantasy feel in here and it's what you should have for a theme park I feel like. When you go into a theme park you kind of want to feel like you just stepped out of your own world and you're just somewhere completely different at least that's for me. This entrance building will be pretty big, it will stretch all the way over this rounded path. But first we'll start with this main section here. I already placed down a few things, uh, so the layout is exactly the way I want it. It can take a bit of time to figure that out, so I made the path towards the entrance, placed down a few of the information desks, which I will use as if you would buy your tickets here and then go through these new park entrance gates. I just love that we can completely decide how the whole entrance will look now. Also, since they made the park 2.5 times bigger, you can even customize it from inside of the cave, uh, which I did a little bit, so that is really amazing and these little things just make me so happy, full control. Also, by the way, the music, oh my god, the music is so beautiful. I love it, it never gets boring, I just feel like they did an awesome job on that and that should be mentioned. As you can tell, I also placed down this Golden King coaster that I have. Uh, <laughs> I just really wanted to get an entertainer in here. I will probably place some of these entertainment points down at some point and have him patrol the entrance over here so he can welcome the guests into the park. I think that's pretty cool that we can set a boundary now for them. Okay, so what I want to do for this series is a bit different than what I've done before so far. Uh, way more options now, so I will try to make good use of that. First of all, I'm still in sandbox mode. I was thinking about doing the challenge mode or careers, but I just have too many ideas to be worried about money. I don't want to be held back in what I have in mind in any way. But I will do some managing and we'll make sure that everything runs well for the first time. We'll be training employees, stuff like that. Uh, I'm still going to be focused the most on building because that is what I'm good at and you should stick with what you're good at. Managing money, uh, not so much. Everything that has to do with numbers in general is something that I'm pretty bad at. <laughs> uh, I guess a lot of creative minds are. The basic idea is to manage the park maybe every now and then at the beginning or end of some episodes. We'll do some more real-time parts where I also will show you what I've done off screen. Uh, we can check up on how the park is running. We'll just see how much there is to do in Sandbox. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work yet, of course, because a lot of the things are new. But that is kind of the point. I want to see where this series takes me. It's kind of an Explore Planet Coaster series, <laughs> where I'm sure I will be learning a lot as I go. Uh, I won't, like the previous series, show you every single little thing that I do. I want to pick up the pace a little bit, because there's just a lot that I want to do and a lot more space to do so. I will try to make these episodes between 10 and 20 minutes. Maybe upload two times a week. No promises though, but the plan is to upload two whenever I can. And if I can't make it happen, I will just upload one. What could also be an idea is maybe if there is a lot of managing to do, I could make that the second episode of the week whenever we need to do a lot of managing. No promises though, but the plan is to upload two when I can. This is what I want to do, but not everything always works out the way you want it, so we'll just see. 
I have some ideas about how I want the main street to look like. Uh, you can kind of see it as if the main street maybe was a rectangle with four entrance gates to go into different styled areas. I want to do sci-fi, western, fantasy theme. Probably also pirates, even though I already made a full pirate park. Should be good though, because in, back in Alpha 2 we didn't have the pirate animatronics and a lot of other things that I still want to try out. But yeah, it should be fun. The main street will sort of function like a main hub. You will be able to go from, let's say, western straight into the sci-fi area. Would be kind of silly if you would have to walk all the way back to the main street every time if you want to go somewhere else. But man, so many ideas. It was really good to take a week off from building. Uh, you can't be constantly creative. At least I can't. Sometimes you just have to take a break and wait for the new ideas to flood in. But uh, yeah, <laughs> just a lot of things that I had to mention there. And we're now at the point that the main building is kind of finished. At, at least the base of it is. So at this point I'm going to extend the building all the way to the corner of the path over here as you will see. And I will do this on the other side as well. Uh, for this let's play, if you've seen my previous ones, again, I will, uh, if I do something symmetrical, I will often show you one side and the other side will just magically be built. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's really a good use of time to show you twice what I've done. So I will show you just one side and you can count on it that the other side is already done. This was actually pretty hard as you can see with the roofs over here and uh, they overlap a little bit. I will do something to cover that up a bit but yeah it's just pretty hard to make multiple buildings like this and get it at a certain angle and definitely do it symmetrical so I had to do this twice. <laughs> but over here I thought I should add another wall to this side so it lines up a little bit better as you can see and you can just move it around and bring it right into position. Just adding another top over here um, I think I will change it a little bit later again and first I will delete this one so I can now cover up the roof uh, section over here and just attach it to the towers and this will look really cool it adds another level of detail to the building and at the same time it covers up the weird bits that you get when you place multiple buildings inside of each other but then again, you still have these walls and borders that will overlap a little bit. It can't be perfect. Uh, <laughs> that's too bad for me. I, I would like it to be perfect, but that is not always possible. I get it pretty close though, and the only weird thing you will see is this little line here in the half wall. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but yeah, here you can see it. That just looks a little bit weird, but if that is the only thing, then I'm good. <laughs> it definitely looks better than the way the roof is looking over here, so... I think that is a huge improvement and I will also add some flat roofs in here so it's completely covered up. It felt a little bit bland and this way it's just a bit more detailed. I'm still talking about the layout for this building and not even the tiny details that will be in here as well. I'm always looking for a cool shape first and after that I bring in the small details so that you really get the look that you're looking for. I think after this building session was done, I went back to it and did some more detailing that you will see uh, in the few shots that I have at the end. Like I mentioned before, I won't show you every single little thing that I do anymore, because at times it just really slows down the creative process. In a way, when you make episodes and you have to narrate what you've done before, it kind of feels like you're overanalyzing your own work, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> Normally I'm just like creating, yay fun, but I'm not really thinking about what's behind the ideas as much, not always. Uh, most of the time I'm just creating for creating sake. Uh, I just like to let it flow and see what happens. I do always have a plan though. I always draw it out even and make notes in my phone all day. <laughs> um, that's basically my Every day for me is making notes in my phone for random things that just pop into my head that I really want to build or make in my park. But those are just the general ideas that I have and not as much the detailing. Uh, I often feel like I know what kind of style or vibe I want some areas to have. Uh, but even then the detailing just comes as, as you go and as you see what you have in your inventory and what you have to work with. So a few things that just take a ton of time, uh, I will just cut out and show you how things progress for this park. I can always show you in real time what I've done and how it all comes together. I hope that is something that you guys are gonna like. I know a lot of you also just like to see how 
every little thing is done but um, in a way this way you will see how the park is done and I think for this park because it's so big and there's a lot that needs to be done it's going to be way more fun in the uh, long run when you just see the park progress a little bit faster instead of just one building Right now we don't really have colors in this building, uh, that is something that will change a little bit. I will add some accent colors here and there. I won't go overboard for this one. I do want to add way more color in the main street though, that is something that I haven't really done yet. And I've been working with very basic colors, grays and browns and stuff like that. That is something that is just also really my style, so uh, if it turns out like that in the end, I'm sorry. but. I guess that I couldn't make it happen <laughs> but yeah the plan is to add way more color in the main street and just kind of go off the the facilities or shops that we have and what colors they have and just kind of work from that point on so if I make a chief beef and chief beef is mainly red I will add some red stuff in buildings and maybe I'll do full walls in red or in colors or I will just add accent colors to that but the plan is kind of to just adjust it to the kind of shops and facilities we have like here you have the gold in the entrance gate and we have some blue in the shops I went more for teal in the end because bright blue didn't really fit with what I had in mind uh, but yeah I will add some more golden details also our entertainer King Coaster is gold I will add some teal in the signs and doors so everything just comes together and it will look really nice in the end I will put this one up on the workshop I think it's just about over a thousand objects maybe more I don't know when I checked it last but yeah it will definitely be on the workshop so you guys could maybe use this as an entrance as well I hope you will like it and uh here we adding the signs, I thought I add some ticket signs over here so it really feels like you go in here and buy your tickets and then move on to the park, uh, change the doors like I said into the same color and now we'll add the main sign over here. I don't really have a name for this park yet, it's kind of difficult because normally you go for a theme and you can just think of a cool name for that but for this park I'm getting a bit stuck and I will probably figure it out but if you guys have any ideas you can always let me know uh, <laughs> I'm warning you though I'm really picky and if it's not exactly what I'm looking for I won't use it but I would love to hear some ideas and it will definitely help me figure out what it will be in the end just remember the idea for the park is to have four gates into different areas from the main street so the four gates theme park is as far as I came for a name but it doesn't feel quite right yet and maybe it will grow on me though <laughs> uh, but I was thinking something with dimensions or portals or gates since every gate is supposed to kind of transport you into another time or dimension then we also need names for every different section so something with pirates fairy tale uh, sci-fi and western for western as an example you have the wild wild west that always works pretty well but maybe you guys can come up with some more original ideas <laughs> so for now the park will just be called Erythia's park and uh, we'll leave it at that until we find something better so what I'm gonna do right now is add some signs and posters and stuff like that that is something that I really haven't done before because I was really focused on building parks in one special theme uh, and I kind of wanted the parks to be like it was it was real and it wasn't really as much as a theme park but more of an area that already existed where a theme park was built on uh, this however will be definitely full-on a theme park and uh, uh, we'll do it a little bit different so we'll have some signs and advertisement and uh, do way more with that adding some benches and bins here uh, to have a nice area outside where you could wait for family or friends or something before you go inside of the park or before you leave and now we'll just start decorating this whole area and make everything uh, feel finished oh probably something I should mention is normally I always upload on Thursday my Planet Coaster episodes on Thursday but since I wanted to start this series after release date so that I would have the full game right from the start uh, but I don't want to make you guys wait until next Thursday for this episode so this one will be out on a weird day for a lot of you <laughs> I just basically want to make and build as much as I can so we can see the park progress a little bit faster I might do some random things in between uh, like I said maybe managing or I could maybe build the Main Street Plaza and the gates as an extra episode and then just keep the normal building episodes on Thursday something like that we'll see how that works out
Since we didn't really have a lot of color, I decided to add some color uh, with the trees in here, which is looks so nice, the yellow and the red uh, together, and really makes it feel more colorful. Also, I wasn't really happy with the way the benches were looking and how I changed the path, uh, how it rounded out. So I changed it, and I think this works a little bit better for what I have in mind. I think we will add some lampposts in here as well. So we have some light in here, and we will do that for the main street as well. This is kind of the style we're going for. Then I wasn't really satisfied with the sign uh, yet, so I thought maybe uh, this works a little bit better. And I think this is the end result. Maybe I will change the colors a little bit still. Then I wanted this coast sign uh, in the exact pixel uh, so you can see it through the other sign and I think it worked pretty well. Um, I still had to get the towers back in here that I deleted so I decided to just add that to the middle tower and that makes it feel a little bit bigger. Uh, just trying some things out with lights but this is something I will also change again off screen. You will see that in the shots in uh, a minute or so. And uh, you can see how much more detailing I did in the end. <laughs> it looks way better now. And here it still kind of feels a little bit plain. But I'm running out of footage, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm so hyped for this new series. Uh, don't forget to like and comment or subscribe if you want to support this channel or this new series. You have to know how much it's appreciated. So just thank you again and I will see you on the next one.